years hearing the strumming of a guitar. Yeah, before you hear the music, someone had to have built the instrument. Yeah. And Seattle yeah, Living's Ryan Burke met a local craftsman in central Illinois who's keeping us all attuned. <laughs> ah, good, good <laughs> working that in there. You know, most guitars that you see are made in a factory, uh, and a lot of them kind of end up looking the same. But one man in Stewardson in Shelby County says each and every one should be unique. And it's the reason I paid a visit to Tom Foreman's house to see how it's done and how he's keeping it made in Illinois. Just like the people who play them, every guitar has a story. Emotions captured through music. But before you play the first note, the guitar must take a journey. And this one happens to start in a garage on a rainy day in Stewardson, Illinois. I'm going to get everything squared up the way I want it. And uh, I've got guitars scattered from here to California. From saw to sander, Tom Foreman knows his way around a wood shop. It runs in his blood. My grandfather built houses, and I've always been interested in wood. I actually work at a sawmill full time, so. And that leads to the wood I use most of in my guitars. What began as a guitar repair business has turned into building, and Teff Custom Guitars was born. And it's mostly trial and error. Well, when I started building, I ended up coming across a book by a, oh, a writer named Jonathan Kincaid. That's kind of my Bible. And it, it taught me a lot. Good colored book, but the internet, YouTube, that's probably where I learned the bulk of my stuff. Now, Foreman builds about six guitars a year by hand, going slow and steady to make sure it's all done the way he wants. There is a difference in a mass production guitar and a handmade guitar. Um, oh, mostly the fact that in a custom made guitar, you can pretty well get what you want. And design wise and wood wise, compared to factory, manufactured guitar, some companies' guitars all sound alike, and quality isn't really quite there on some of the lower end guitars. And each guitar is as unique as the music it'll play. For Foreman, it's all about challenging yourself and doing a bit of experimenting. Um, right now, I'm getting ready to start building the mandolin. I've never done it before. And then I'm in the middle of building a pedal steel guitar. And those are both expensive experiments, but hey, everything's an experiment sometimes. New innovation combined with age-old techniques. Something sure to strike a chord with music fans. Now, the cool thing is that actually, in addition to building new guitars, he also does a lot of repair work on old guitars. And he said some of them are actually dating back more than 100 years. So really a cool way, like, through Whoa. that process to learn about guitar making. Yeah. It's Very a guitar cool. kind of day here on CIA. It is. <laughs> hey, it's a winning kind of